At 254 pounds, Darren's weight matches the apparatus he'll be lifting. Overcoming this awkward event will be a huge battle for him. There you see the mark to beat, 16 repetitions put up by American Phil Fister. And right now, Sadler and Mitt are going head to head. Mitt's using a huge leg drive, throwing the hips forward and slamming the weight overhead. Sadler's trying to press it with his deltoids. It's a lot tougher that way. Mitt at eight, Sadler at seven. Still plenty of time, and now Tarmo Mitt starting to separate himself. He gets to double digits. Meanwhile, Darren Sadler's having some problems with his apparatus. Remember, those two safes are free swinging. And there you see the balance problem that Darren Sadler's having. Once he gets away from you, Todd, and the shoulders are burning and gone, he's in real trouble. Tarmo Mitt looks like a house. He works like a horse. He's awesome. A new leader, Tarmo Mitt, surpasses Phil Fister's 16 repetitions. And he gets 18 reps. Meanwhile, Darren Sadler unable to break double digits, but that is a huge turn of events for Tarmo Mitt. The biggest Estonian wins the safe lift. For Darren Sadler, that'll put him in a tie for fourth place with eight repetitions. Fatigue set in for Darren, and he could not control the apparatus. Meanwhile, Tarmo Mitt, no such problems, putting up 18 reps. He gets the win. He's standing by with Bill. Tarmo, two wins in a row and 18 reps in that one. You must be feeling pretty good. It's a great feeling because I had a very bad start. And I was thinking today or never. But I lost the counting. I didn't know how many I'm doing. I just keep working there. Congratulations. Keep it up. Thanks, guys. With the world's strongest man, you, it's not so much you can go to the gym now and again and eat good food. It's a case of it's, it's a lifestyle. To be at the top level, you've got to live your life around it. You've got to train every day. You've got to make sure you eat right. Obviously, there's, there's a big sacrifice in there, so let's hope it's worth it this year. Obviously, I'm a lot smaller than uh, a lot of the other guys, but it plays its parts in disadvantage and advantage. You know, It makes me a little bit quicker on certain things. Uh, then again, some of the things with body weight, like truck pull and things like that, you need more body weight to be able to pull the trucks. But uh, it evens itself out, you know. I think this year the groups are very, very hard, harder than any other year because there's so many guys on a good level. So yeah, it's going to be difficult to qualify, but all of us in the heat have got a good chance and me as good as any, so I've come to have a good go. Tarmo Mint earns a second straight victory with his 18 successful lifts. Phil Fister was second with 16. Ning Matulin's nine reps give him third place, while Phil Ewan Sadler share fourth. Phil Fister and Tarmo Mint have done enough through five events to guarantee their positions in the World's Strongest Man final. Ning Matulin is in third. Phil Yu is in fourth, tied with Darren Sadler. We now have our two finalists, but who will be the King of the Stones? The Atlas Stones has become the signature event of the Metrics World's Strongest Man, and it's next.